Okay, so this says which ordered pair is in the solution set of the system of linear inequalities graphed below. So we have two, right, two inequalities graphed here, and you can see them. Uh, now, if you've never seen this before, just hang in there. We'll walk you right through it. This solid line right here is one of the inequalities. And the other line here, this dashed line, is the other inequality. So I'll just use pink here for dashes. Right. Okay. So these are two inequalities. And you might be used to the equations of lines written as something like y is equal to mx plus b. And that just means, of course, that you have a line where all of the points on the line have x values, right, and y values that are equal to each other in terms of this equation, right? So if I was to have something like y is equal to x plus 2, this means that if I have a bunch of points that are on that line, so I can pick my x values like 1, right? Well, then y is equal to 1 plus 2, or 3, if I was to pick an x value of 5, right, then the y values are equal to 5 plus 2, or 7, and so forth. Well, what would it mean to say y is greater than x plus 2? Well, now if I pick an x value like 1 and I plug it in, right, what could y equal? Well, y is greater than x plus 2. So x is 1 here, and 1 plus 2 is 3, right? So y has to be bigger than 3. Right, so if you think about the options for the points here on this line, it would, when x is 1, y could be anything bigger than 3. As opposed to here, when x was 1, y was equal to 3. And that would form a line. So now we get a whole bunch of points that are above, right, above 3 in this case, or a height of 3. So these inequalities, right, the big thing to realize is that all these shaded lines, which I think were confusing originally, represent all the points that are part of the solution set. So this solid line means two things. It means that your inequality, you have an inequality that's less than or equal to, right, because all the points here that fit this, this solution set related to this blue line, they could be points on the line, just as in normal inequalities, I guess, normal equalities where y is equal to an x plus 2 value. Or they could be a height, you can think in terms of height here because of the y values, that really helps. Um, let's pick a point here, right? Well, my y value could be this height when x is equal to, let's say this is almost 1, right? If I go up to the line, y could equal this value or this value, anything below it when x is that value. If x was equal to negative 1 over here, I go up to the graph, right? Now y value could equal on the line as it would in an equality or anything below. Now the other inequality, notice it's dashed. So that means that it can't be on the line. It's not a greater, it's not a greater than or equal to or less than equal to statement. It's just a greater than or less than statement. So as a point of reference, if you see a greater than or less than or less than or greater than, right, you know that your line will be filled in. It'll be a solid line filled in. It'll be a solid line. But if you see dashes, right, like this or this, I mean if you see the, excuse me, the less than or greater than sign, then you'll have a dashed line because the y value can't be on the line itself. So here, there's other inequality, right, you can think of all the points being down here. So now they're, all they're really asking you though to look at here is where do these two lines have the same groups of points in common, right? Well, it's this area here where the lines cross because in this area right here, right, in this area, you have points that are a part of both inequality. You can tell because the, the lines actually cross there. So now we're just trying to find one of these points that are in that area. And it happens, the only one that's even close here is, is 1, right, which is 1, negative 4. So 1, negative 4, about there. The other ones here, it says 5, 3, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and up 3. It's only part of this solution set, the blue solution set, but it's nowhere near any of the pink values. Negative 5, 7 over here is not in either 
right? So I need a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and up 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That point is not in any of the solution sets there. And negative 7, negative 2, right? Well, that's here's negative 6, negative 7. That's only in the pink area right there. So this point, 1, negative 4, is the only one that falls in both inequalities. All right, hope this helped.